Hi there, this is Shana Albert from ArtistHelpingChildren.org and I have another craft for you today. Today we will be working on alligator clothespin magnets. These crafts are really useful because your mom will have a magnet to use on the fridge and it actually opens up and you can clip things. So grab the materials needed and let's get started. For the materials needed, we will need a piece of paper or poster board, scissors, some glue, green paint, a googly eye, a magnet, a clothespin, a pencil, and a paintbrush. The first step in this process is to take the green paint and to paint your clothespin. So let's get started. Just going to paint the entire clothespin green for the alligator. Once you have the entire clothespin painted green, you're going to let it dry. So keep painting. Once you've finished painting the clothespin green, you're going to let it dry and we'll meet back here for the next step. Once your clothespin is dried, it's time to move on to the next step, and the next step is to make your teeth. You have to decide whether you want your teeth on the front side that opens and closes. Um, if you do, it'll be smaller, or if you would like a large set of teeth, you can use the back part of the clothespin um, where it you press it to open and close it. I'm going to just do a small section here. So you're going to measure it, see how far the width would need to be. In my case it's this far. And draw a set of teeth. Cut that out and we'll move to the next step. Okay, so I cut out my teeth here. I'm going to set them aside for the next step. Right now I'm going to take my googly eye and I'm going to find what spot I'm going to put it on the clothespin. I'm going to put it about here. If your teeth are, if you decide to use the other side for your teeth, you would put it on the other side. So let me add some glue here. I'm going to hold the googly eye there for a second and now I'm going to let that dry. Okay, I turned the clothespin over. It's time for me to put the magnet on. So I'm going to put the magnet about right here. So I'm going to add a little glue. And it's just a round magnet. I'll let that dry. Okay, for the next step, we need to put the teeth on the alligator. Now you're working with very small um, pieces of paper here, so it, it's going to be a little clumsy to work with. Do the best you can. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the front here, where I'm going to put the teeth. I'm sorry if you can't see around my hands. I'm just going to set the teeth in there. The glue will dry clear. And I'm going to put the bottom set of teeth on too. Do the best you can to get the teeth to line up. I know that's going to be difficult. Again, you're working with small material here. I'll wipe the rest of the glue off. Once your glue has dried, come back here. Once 
Once your alligator clothespin magnet is dry, it's ready to be used. Go put it on the refrigerator and enjoy it. Thanks for watching.